everyone this is Srinivas from Dharmapetam in the previous video we have seen about the single citizenship dual citizenship and the persons of indian origin and also the overseas citizen of india in this video let us know about an important act the citizenship amendment act 2019 it was passed by the parliament on december 11th 2019 and this act was amended the previous citizenship amendment act 1955 This act was very important because it created many controversies and problems. This act was mainly passed for the providing Indian citizenship for the persecuted religious minorities. Persecuted means a group of community people who are violated in their countries like Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists, Jains, Parsis, Christians who traveled from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Pakistan. so these religious minorities who arrived in india before 2014 are eligible for the indian citizenship under this indian citizenship amendment act 2019 this act also uh, reduces the residence requirement of naturalization from 11 years to 5 years ante oka vyakti itara deshal nunchi vachina appudu atanu india lo 11 samvatsaralu unte ataniki indian citizenship anedi vastundi kaani ee act anedi ఆ వ్యక్తి ఐదు సంవత్సరాలు ఉంటే అతనికి సిటిజన్షిప్ అనేది వస్తుంది అంటే రెండు వేల పద్నాలుగులో ఒక సిటిజన్ అదర్ కంట్రీ నుంచి వస్తే అతను ఐదు సంవత్సరాలు ఇండియాలోనే ఉంటాడు కాబట్టి అతనికి సిటిజన్షిప్ అనేది వస్తుంది సో లెట్ అస్ నౌ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద కాంట్రవర్సీస్ అండ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సిటిజన్షిప్ అమెండ్మెంట్ యాక్ట్ టూ థౌసండ్ నైన్టీన్ ద మెయిన్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈస్ ద సిటిజన్షిప్ అమెండ్మెంట్ యాక్ట్ డిడ్ నాట్ ప్రొవైడ్ అండ్ ప్రొవిజన్ ఫర్ ద ముస్లిం కమ్యూనిటీ ఇట్ ఓన్లీ గేవ్ సిక్స్ అదర్ కమ్యూనిటీస్ నాన్ ముస్లిం కమ్యూనిటీస్ and it uh, did not mention the muslim community for providing the indian citizenship for the uh, refugees and uh, it also did not mention the other refugees like tibetians migrated at the time of china tibet war in the year 1959 to 60 and also afghans who are migrated at the time of soviet afghan war 1979 and also tamilians who migrated from sri lanka civil war during the year 1982 to 2000 and also the rohingyas of myanmar who migrated to india in the year 2015 to 17 these migrants are not given a, a provision in this act so it, it also has a main problem in a state of assam because uh, uh, there are many refugees there are many migrants who are coming from uh, other countries uh, to the northeastern states and assam so before uh, let us take the history of assam uh before uh, uh, in the year 1971 or before the assam has uh, many refugees uh, and there are uh, more refugees more than local people so they created an assam accord in the year 1985 in which uh, the people who came to assam before 1971 are considered to be as citizens of assam and uh, remaining are considered as illegal immigrants in which they do not have a citizenship in india but this citizenship amendment act 2019 said that uh, not before 1971 uh, it is considered as after 2014 so the assam people uh, refused uh, and uh, rejected this act because uh, the people who are uh, in uh, between this 1971 and 2014 there are many people who who came from other countries so these people are uh, refugees and uh, the students of assam also protested that uh, these illegal migrants led to the uh, violation of their lands and also the cultural rights and also the traditional rights because they are refugees of other countries and uh, the, uh, these violations are taken place and also the government uh, provided the nrc which means national register of citizens in which first it was implemented to the assam because there are uh, uh, by the report of uh, uh, nrc there are 19 lakh uh, refugees coming from other countries out of those 5.5 uh, uh, lakh or minorities muslim minorities the protest is in two ways that is assam from assam and the whole india uh, in which it uh, neglected the minority communities so in assam there are many illegal immigrants which are coming from other countries so these are uh, two problems or controversies by this act and also even in the northeastern states the people protested this act because uh, it uh, provides the violation for the uh, cultural and traditional and the uh, land rights so what is first of all R- nrc nrc means national registration of citizens which provides the legal documents 
or the people should provide the legal documents to prove their citizenship so they have to provide etc like a birth certificate or their parents certificate in which they should be in india so this nrc also opposed the assam accord which came in the year 1985 so these are the problems uh, relating to the citizenship or uh, the citizenship amendment act 2019 which came in the year 2019 so uh, these are the controversies so now let us know about uh, some few case laws regarding the citizenship sharbananda sonowal versus union of india in the year 2005 this case is also known as assam illegal Mi migrants case which dealt with the issue of illegal immigration in assam the Supreme Court held that the detention and deportation of illegal immigrants is crucial to protect the rights and interests of Indian citizens. The case resulted in establishing the foreign tribunals and also subsequent updating of National Register of Citizens in Assam. So, in this case, we have to the illegal migrants and deport them. We have to the Assam and we have to deport them. So, we tribunal to form the tribunal in this case. Second case is Muhammad Sakil was a state of Andhra Pradesh in the year 2008. The Supreme Court in this case clarified the difference between nationality and citizenship and held that the grant of Indian nationality does not automatically confer the Indian citizenship. It emphasized that acquiring Indian citizenship involves a separate legal processes as enshrined under the Citizenship Act. This law says that uh, there is a difference between nationality and Indian citizenship. Even if you are Indian, if you have nationality in India, but you have to follow the process of Indian Citizenship Act. So this law says about uh, the difference between nationality and uh, citizenship. So let us know about third case law. National Legal Services Authority versus Union of India 2014. This landmark case recognized the rights of transgender individuals and affirm their rights to self-identity, their gender. This case focused on tr transgender persons who are entitled to all their rights and privileges available to any other Indian citizen, including the right to citizenship. And this case was uh, a transgender male and female rights. They will apply to the and they will be providing uh, uh, equal rights for the Indian citizenship. So this is, these are the problems or controversies of Indian Citizenship Act 2019 and the advantages of that act and also some case laws regarding citizenship. So, Marinta Samacharam Kosam Chustune Unandi Mi Dharma Petyam YouTube channel. Nyaya Vignan of the Chaitanjali Kandi Andaru Mi Yoka Hakulni Telskondi. Danyawad.